But we begin with the death of a giant of filmmaking. We have lost Norman Jewison. He was born in Toronto, went to Los Angeles, and became the man the Hollywood Reporter calls the most distinguished film director in Canadian history. On your feet, boy. I mean now. Jewison was the genius behind Moonstruck and Fiddler on the Roof, for which he earned Best Director and Best Picture nominations. And In the Heat of the Night in 1967, which won Best Picture at the Oscars. The moon brings the woman to the man. Capisce? The multifaceted seven-time Oscar nominee directed racial comedies, romantic, rather racial dramas, romantic comedies, thrillers, but got his start directing musical specials on televisions in Canada. Jewison died Saturday in Los Angeles, age 97. Joining us now, film critic Richard Krause. Uh, Richard, we just learned of Jewison's death today, so let's start with how will history remember him? I think they'll remember Norman Jewison as a filmmaker who was uh, versatile. Look at the films he made. If you think of from musicals, you think of uh, era-defining musicals like Fiddler on the Roof and Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, he made thrillers like The Thomas Crown Affair, uh, comedies like The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, and Moonstruck. But he also, throughout his career, also uh, focused on... Uh, racism and injustice in films like In the Heat of the Night and Hurricane and, and many others. Uh, so he was a, a filmmaker who could kind of do it all, but he was very much, um, you know, someone who was very aware of social causes and promoted them in his films in most fascinating and interesting ways. So, so well regarded. You never heard a bad word about him whatsoever. Richard, he had a foot in both countries. He was staunchly Canadian, even though he spent so many years in the U.S. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, the, with the uh, creation of the Canadian Film Centre, uh, he was uh, directly responsible for the mentoring of hundreds, if not thousands, of filmmakers and producers and actors. Uh, over the decades that that school has been open, uh, so many famous people have walked through that door and come out better filmmakers and better uh, uh, actors and producers. And that is a direct comment on the influence of Norman Jewison and the uh, excellence that seemed to be just part of everything that he was involved in. And I briefly touched on it. You know, he seemed to be a very humble man. You never really heard anything bad about him whatsoever. Did you have a chance to meet him? Yes, I hosted uh, an event with him in September when we renamed uh, the uh, Hazleton Hotel Screen Room in Toronto after him. And it was one of the highlights of my career so far. When he came in that room and it was filled with producers and writers and actors, all of whom had been touched either by his work uh, or had been touched by the, the CFC, the Canadian Film Centre. And the love and the magic in that room uh, that night was uh, indescribable. Uh, a night I will never, ever forget. Ah, uh, Richard. Okay. Thank you so much for this.